Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be doing my review of Crash Into You by Katie McGarry. Guys, this book was just phenomenal. I loved it so much, and oh, I can't wait to get my review. <laughs> Alright, so this book is the third book in the Pushing the Limits um, series. There's also a novella, but I'm not going to count that. I haven't read that yet, but I probably am going to, after my book buying ban is over, buy that book because I can't get enough. Um, but anyways, this book is about Isaiah, who is a character in both Pushing the Limits and in Dare You Too. And he is really into cars, and he's kind of a bad boy. He's got tattoos and ear piercings, and he's just this really bad boy, you know, foster care dude. And then we have Rachel, who is living in this family that's not quite as perfect as it seems. And also, she has older brothers that are very protective of her, and a mom who is just heartbroken with grief and Rachel's kind of the replacement to her older sister who died of leukemia and so she has to deal with all these feelings towards that and you know her dad kind of plays a role too and she's really rich and she lives on the good side of town and she meets Isaiah because she also loves cars and she wants to street race or she just falls into this street racing thing and kind of gets in trouble and they meet and they kind of work together. I think that's it. This book, <laughs> this book was really good. I gave it a 4.5 stars on Goodreads and there's a specific reason why. I feel like the relationship between Rachel and Isaiah was a tad bit rushed. But then when I think about it, all the relationships are rushed. I think I just kind of, in all the other books, I think I just kind of read half of it and really enjoyed it. And then once I get to the other half, I'm just like, I don't know why I feel this way, but I feel like it's a little bit, like, you know, cheesy. But I think it's because throughout the whole book, Isaiah presents himself as this bad boy. And then we kind of figure out that... He may not be as bad as what he claims to be. I think that kind of threw me off a little bit. But other than that, I really enjoyed the story. I think Rachel's character development was so good. Uh, she suffers from panic attacks, which is really, it was really hard for me to read because I also suffer from panic attacks. And so sometimes when I was reading the book, I'd have to like put it down because then I would have a panic attack. It just, I'm kind of like, I just have a whole bunch of anxiety problems that you probably don't even care about. So it's really interesting to read because I haven't read too many books about other characters having panic attacks. I'm gonna put the book down. Oh, I like to talk with my hands. The development between her family and everything, it was done really well. It wasn't like... We weren't given a whole back history. It was like we were just learning pieces along the way, which if you've seen my videos before, you know I really enjoy that. And Isaiah's character, since we already knew him, um, in the previous books. It was very weird because I had this idea of Isaiah in my head and then like I said we kind of figure out that he's maybe not you know as bad boy as he claims to be and so that was kind of really weird. It threw me off a little bit but other than that I think Isaiah's character is amazing. He's one of my favorites from the story. He's just so loving and caring and he's like one of those strong characters that just it's like the anchor of the group. He just kind of pulls everyone together. Beth does make an appearance in this book which was really interesting to read about because in the last book things ended very um, abruptly and not very good between Isaiah and Beth so it was really cool to see that play out in the story. Also Noah and Echo are in the story and they play a pretty large part in the story so that's really cool. We meet some new characters, some shady, some good, some in the middle. <laughs> so that's really cool and the storyline itself is pretty quick so the book itself takes the span of like a couple of weeks, not very long at all. It was very fast paced which was really cool to read about. But like I said it gave it a feeling of a rushed book and sometimes that doesn't work out so well, but I, I still think it doesn't take away from the story too much. Just that little bit of me like, mm, wait a second, you know? I really enjoyed the car aspect of this book. I really like cars. I don't have the, I haven't been given the opportunity to learn too much about cars, but I love learning about cars and I love looking at cars and being involved in cars. So that was really interesting to read about and it was just a lot of fun and just, I don't know, I just really enjoyed that storyline. Who else what I was going to say? But I think that's all I want to say about this book. There, there, there is a next, an, oh my god, there is another book coming out 
which is going to be about West and Haley, and West is Rachel's uh, brother. Yeah, so I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It was actually a lot less steamy than the other books, which was really interesting. Both of these books have more of a raw feeling and a more emotional feeling, and this one was kind of more innocent and naive. So it was really very different, but at the same time very similar, so I don't know. Um, I'm going to stop talking about this book. I really enjoyed it. I recommend you pick it up. If you haven't picked up any Katie McGarry's books, I'm not sure what you're doing with your young adult life, but I recommend that you do pick it up. This book was great, and it was just an awesome story, and I just love everything that she makes, so I'm not even, you know, there's nothing more I can say that will give you evidence to back that up. So pick this book up. Let me know what you think. If you want to discuss it, let me know. Thank you guys so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you pick up this book. It's so good, and I really enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!